Hey -o, duckies, Andy here, and OBS 30 is finally here. I have been using it for some time now as I started on the beta, and I've been using it on my live streams at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy, where we do all this stream stuff all the time, so come and follow me over there, it's great. And I absolutely love it. There are some absolutely banging features that have been added, and I'm going to kind of cover all my favorite bits and some honorable mentions and everything like that in this video. And I kind of want to make sure you feel comfortable to update. So we're going to go through all that as well. The first thing to know is you people are always like, right, plugins, are they going to work? And yes, they do. So I use a ton of plugins in OBS and I've been using, like I say, OBS 30 since the early beta and I've not had an issue, touch wood. And that has also been confirmed by Exceldro as well because he has actually got his plugins on there and he said all my OBS plugins maintained uh, uh, should work fine with this new OBS version. Please let me know if you encounter any problems. And that is important. That is a very important note. Please, if you have any issues with plugins, let developers know and then they can apply fixes and then they get better rather than just complain about it because I see it a lot on Twitter and everything like that, X, whatever you want to call it. I see a lot of people complain about stuff and not actually give the developers any of that feedback. Uh, so just bear that in mind, all right? Uh, so when it comes to updating OBS, it's super easy to do, or you can just do it from inside of OBS. Nowadays, it's so good that you just go up to help and you go for check for updates and that'll check your updates. I'm already on OBS 30, as you can see. And just as a, a bit of a mention as well, if you go to your settings as well in OBS, you can actually choose what update channel you want to use. So whether or not you're on the stable or you want to use the betas and stuff like that as well. So you can make sure that's already selected and then update through there. And I just want to mention as well about my videos that I've got. So I've got videos on the channel that actually tell you how to downgrade OBS. So if you're having issues on OBS 30, you can downgrade. So I'm going to leave that video in the description. And I also have a huge video on backing up everything in OBS as well. And I think Nutty has done a very good video on doing a, a literally like master backup. So I'm going to make sure I find that and put that link in the description as well. Just so you're comfortable in updating and trying it out. If you have issues, remember, you can always downgrade, fix it, report it to the, the developers and hopefully you'll get a patch for your problem. So with, with all that out of the way, let's actually talk about what's been added into this. So the first thing that I want to mention is kind of all the honorable mentions. Uh, and the first bit is the the bug fixes, like the bug fixes. There are so many bug fixes. Look at all these. The list is just, just mind boggling. So hopefully anybody that's been having any issues in the past this hopefully fixes some of your stuff, maybe, maybe, yeah, hopefully it does. Uh, so the first things I want to mention are the uh, Mac and Linux changes that are huge because I, I know there's probably not many people on my channel that use Mac and Linux, but we've got application audio capture for Mac now. And you know how you could use the application audio capture just here. You can now do that on Mac, so you can actually just choose an application that you want to capture the audio rather than doing the whole entire desktop. That is absolutely huge. And there is also the ability to do the hide OBS windows. So, you know, when you're recording OBS, um, you're recording with OBS on your desktop, but you don't want OBS to be present. That is now there on Mac as well. And then a bunch of new encoders are available on Linux. So you've got stuff like HEVC and AV1 now available for Linux. Now let's get on to the big stuff that I'm absolutely hyped about, the full height docs. So you know how you, you kind of have all this space here on the left, for instance, you're just like, right, I wish I could put chat there, or you've got a huge scene list. Like, I actually have a ton of scenes just here. Well, not too many. And what we can do is actually click and drag it, and we've got our full height dock now, which is a great quality of life improvement. To make sure that's on, you just go up to docks and turn full height docks on. So if I turn that off, you can see we're now not full height, but turn it back on and it now spans the whole thing. So this is great if you want to add like your Twitch chat, your YouTube chat or something like that. There is also now this swanky little 
menu bar at the bottom here that has all like great information like your cpu percent your fps and everything uh the the recording time and the broadcast time as well uh i believe that's um the strength of the uh signal as well so your bit rate as a, as a little thing i think it is I, i've actually not looked at that that's really dumb of me not to check that out uh to make sure you've got that on all you need to do is go up to view and then you can turn it on by pressing status bar i really like it i think it's a really nice quality life improvement to keep everything really condensed and then there is a big huge update which is just like kind of a mention one around um shader caching so now what you'll notice that obs if you've got really busy scenes and a lot of things going on and you do lots of effects like you've been learning on my channel then it's gonna start quicker so on windows it will now start your obs quicker because it's doing a lot of um caching the shaders in the background so it's 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 a nice quality of life improvement my obs used to take ages to start and now it just doesn't it's great speaking of plugins and all that kind of stuff and having advanced stuff if you have got like all these plugins and one crashes and it crashes obs and you're just like oh i don't know what's going on there is a great tool now OBS will find out if it has crashed and it'll allow you to restart in safe mode, which will disable all of your plugins. You can also do this manually by going up to help and press restart in safe mode. So you don't have to kind of worry now about plugins breaking or you're losing anything because you can always get back into OBS, which is a great quality of life improvement, especially if you like have one of the moments where you're trying to start obs and it's constantly crashing on startup so you can't get in there to maybe retrieve anything that has just made it a whole lot easier there is also a youtube control panel now so if you're logged in with youtube and you're streaming to youtube obviously so in settings you're going to stream and you're already connected to your youtube account you do have access to a new dock which is the youtube live control panel which for me sometimes takes a very long time to to load up so i'm gonna have to cut so using the control panel you need to make sure you have a broadcast selected as you can probably see just here uh, you don't have to start streaming um, to get it to show up but in here you'll be able to get all your data like your viewers your chat rate your views and all that jazz just in there which is really handy similar to what you already had for twitch that was available inside of obs as well now it's available for youtube but i do have kind of one complaint about that i wish you could log into obs with multiple accounts because now we're allowed to restream from Twitch and do YouTube at the same time and things like that. We can only connect one account, which I understand why you can only connect one. But it means that you can't use the YouTube live control panel as well as like the Twitch one and stuff like that. So I primarily stream to Twitch. Then I use the RTMP uh, plugin, which I've done a video on link in the description as well. That will allow me to then stream to YouTube at the same time. And it would be nice if I could have the, the live control panel inside of OBS at the same time. That makes sense so that would be nice to be able to log into multiple things um some other cool stuff one of my actual favorite things is the filter menu so you know what you know me i like to make very advanced things and like do a lot of uh, filters and everything like that so if i go to say my polaroid picture effect in here and i look at the filter menu you'll be able to see there's quite a few filters just here and before, when I was like organizing these, I had to select one and then move it up and down like this to make sure they're in the right order. Well, now you can just click and drag. So simple, but it is such a huge quality of life improvement. I absolutely love it. And speaking of filters, before, when you used to copy filters from a scene, like so, so when you right click and you press copy filters, and you wouldn't be able to paste them onto a different source. And that was the same if you copied them from the mixer like so as well. Well, now you can. As you just saw, it actually pops up and does allow you to do it. So they are a few of the things that I absolutely love in this update. I'd love to know what your favorite feature is in the comments below. I'm going to leave the link so you can see all the patch notes because there are a ton more things in there. But they're, they're a little bit more advanced and maybe like user specific. So have a little look through them. There's plenty to learn. And remember, just try it out. Stop being worried. The OBS team are going to be pumping out more updates more regularly now so we don't have the whole OBS 28 issue again. Like, honestly, you guys just...
just calm down. Like, it's good. It's good to try new things. And I'm here to hold your hand. Uncle Andy will look after you. Don't worry. Uncle Andy and Mr. Blobby, cheers, James, uh, will look after you. So just have no fear, all right? Any questions, come and stop by my streams. And I'll be able to help you out, all right? Put your rock for the stone. Make sure you like and subscribe because we want to get that 25K. And then we're going to get myself that 100K plaque, right? Let's do it. Next year, 100K plaque. Let's go. Put your rock for the stone.